All right, so now that we have our floor joist or our uh, rim joists all laid out, what we're gonna be doing next is selecting our floor joists. Um, so what we'll do when we're selecting our floor joists is we wanna check for a crown. Um, so what a crown is, is a bow and a board um, from end to end. And what we wanna do is we wanna put, if there is a crown in a board, um, we wanna put that crown up. So that way, um, when we're framing our floor and we have, over time, all that weight coming down, hopefully, over time, it'll correct that bow um, if it's a slight one. If it's really, really bad, we'll throw the board out. Um, but a quarter inch or so, um, not a problem. We'll just crown it up and then we'll start framing our floor. Um, so what we'll wanna do is we'll have a board. You wanna hold it down flat just like AJ is. And then you wanna take it and sight straight down that board. And with this one, you can see that that bow is kind of to the left. Um, so what we'll do then, when you find a crown, you'll take a marker and you'll just make an arrow saying the crown is going that way. So then, when it's time to start framing, we'll take this floor joist here, and when we place it down on our floor, we know to place it crown side up. Again, having that crown um, being facing up, so when you put weight down on it, it'll squish it down. If you start with that crown going down, it's not gonna get any better over time, it's just gonna get worse, and you'll have crooked floors. So, um, what we can do is we'll take our whole pile of floor joists. Um, so, we got our information from our layout here that we needed um, 12 full-size joists, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Um, so we'll come over to our pile here and we'll just crown all of them. Some of them have already been done. Um, but you just sight down every board. Crown's going this way and make a mark. 